By the time this one is over with, someone's dreams may be broken. Ben Townley and Ryan Villapoto continue to swap moto wins, but at round eight, it was Townley who finally came out with an edge. Two points separate these teammates with four rounds to go. In motocross, two points can be won or lost in one corner. The heat and humidity of Minnesota awaits the AMA Motocross Lights Riders. Spring Creek is next on Speed. the 12 race Toyota AMA Motocross Lights Championship comes your way from a hilly but hot and humid Spring Creek Motocross Park in Millville, Minnesota. Hi everybody, I'm Ralph Shaheen alongside multi-time motocross champion Jeff Emig. And Jeff, we've got a tremendous battle going on in this lights class between the two Monster Energy Pro Circuit Kawasaki riders. Well, Ryan Villapoto, last year's champion, and Ben Townley have been going at it this summer. With each race and each moto, the intensity is rising rapidly, okay? But these guys are still working together as a team. Talk to all the mechanics and everybody around. Every, there's no cheap shots going on. Everybody's racing hard. Problem is, that's bad news for everybody else in the points championship behind them because I don't think that anybody can come to the race that's not racing for the championship and match the level of intensity and the desire that these two riders are going to have. Well, let's take a look at the championship point standings coming into this round here at Millville. And Jeff, everybody says it's really going to come down to the last guy that makes the last mistake. And that's how you're going to lose this championship. Well, I think so. Both of these riders have been awesome this year. And they have both kind of taken a different path to get there. You see Ryan Villapoto with nine wins. But he also has that DNF to go along with it. Ben Townley has been much steadier. He's been better in the second motos. That's why he has more of the overall wins. But in the points, remember, we get points for each moto. It's pretty even, and uh, it's going to come down to the wire. Well, now for Progressive Direct pre-race support and more on this story, here's our Aaron Bates. That's right, Jeff and Ralph. This battle is definitely brewing here under the Pro Circuit Kawasaki tent. Both of these title contenders are battling for this championship. Ben Townley spoke with him yesterday. He's going to keep on the same path he has been going on, the same conditioning with Alden Baker and also training at Ricky Carmichael's house. That's definitely going to benefit him. Ryan Villapoto, on the other hand, still a little bit distraught over the DNF that took place at Unadilla after a radiator broke. Is he taking practice as serious as some others? Maybe not. He's not putting 100% in during practice, but definitely practice is not where it counts. We're going to see if he's be able to pull it together here on race day. Guys, both of these two had comments to say they know that it is going to come down to the final race of who's going to take this championship. Here's what they had to say. Uh, no, this is going to come all the way down to the end. I think, you know, it's a, it's a close race. We've been pretty close since the first round in Hangtown. And, uh, it's been close racing, but it's been tough, you know, having a teammate there to battle the championship with. You've uh, got to know the limits, you know, and we haven't uh, rubbed too much plastic yet, but uh, it's going to be a close race to the finish for sure. Everybody, it's been talked about, you know, me and Ben are going at each other even in the, under the tent. And, uh, no, you know, we're friends. Everything's cool under here. And uh, just adds the pressure a little bit out on the track because he's here under the semi, you know, with me. And we're, we're both racing, racing for the championship. But... Uh, you know, it's, it's not too bad. We'll be right back to Spring Creek Motocross Park, Millville, Minnesota. Moto number one for Motocross Lights is coming up. to the AMA Motocross Lights Championship from Millville is brought to you by Suzuki. Maker performance driven motorcycles, scooters, and all train vehicles. By Progressive. Before the gremlins get you, get Progressive. Number one in motorcycle insurance. And by the all new 2007 Tundra, the truck that's changing it all. Welcome to Millville, Minnesota. Getting ready to go racing with Moto number one for the AMA Motocross Lights here at the Spring Creek Motocross Park. Let's show you our format for today's racing action here. 
Highest point total after both motos wins. In the event of a tie, highest finisher in moto number two gets the spot. Which has been the case this year. Let's show you our Suzuki starting grid as well. And as we take a look at the riders sitting in the gate, we've got Ryan Villapoto, Ben Townley. Those are the two riders. Jeff, we've been focusing on so much with the point battle, but how about 341 and 140? Yeah, everybody kind of focusing on them as well. Oh, yeah, definitely. Nico Izzy, Trey Kennard, amateurs this year. This is their very first pro race. Both of these guys have been awesome in practice. I look for really good things out of them here today. And I'm telling you, they got to be a little bit nervous, but. The kids coming through these days are more prepared for this first race than ever. I think they're going to make a real good impression here today. And traditionally, this is the venue where they show up. It's after everything that's been going on with the amateur season during the summer, a big part of that. This is the first real good opportunity for them to come out and test the waters with the veterans. Oh, and I, it's, a, it's, a great, it's, a, it's a great facility to do that. You look at the center of your screen, 140, Trey Kennard. He was the AMA Horizon Award winner at the Loretta Lynn's Amateur National last week. So that basically meant he's kind of the guy. But Nico Izzy, Will Hahn, Austin Stroop, all these riders are going to be graduating this year into the pro ranks. But at the moment, Trey Kennard is a standout. We'll see what he has today, and I think he's going to make a good impression. I think he's going to have a great day. Do you like one over the other right now? Do you think one has more uh, potential than the other? There's the I don't 341 of Nico Izzy right there. No, Nico Izzy was actually fastest qualifier, or fa the faster qualifier of the two. Nico qualified sixth. Trey Kennard was seventh, and that's against the fastest lights motocross racers in the world. So these kids are definitely prepared. Getting himself bumped up, loosened up, and ready to go. What do we need to know about the Spring Creek Motocross Park? What type of a racetrack is this? What do you like about it? What's the biggest challenge here? Well, I think this track is great. Uh, the soil, uh, nice and soft, kind of sandy, kind of hard, got a little bit of clay. It's got these huge sand whoop sections uh, down by uh, Spring Creek. Um, it's got a little bit of everything, but I, I personally like it. I think it was uh, one of the best tracks on the, on the circuit. There's Ryan Villapoto carrying the national number one weight, and winning the championship last year. Yeah, and Villapoto is coming into this race. He has got something to prove because his teammate, Ben Townley, the guy he's battling the championship with, took it at his hometown race. So he's got some, something to prove here today. Here we go from Millville. like Brett Metcalf got a good start and right behind him is going to be the number one of Villapoto. Actually it's Townley. I saw Metcalf get a good start though. He's not too far back but Townley is going to be the early late race leader getting the whole shot. All right Ralph. Now who wants this championship at this point? You see both these guys they know oh villapoto has got the line on the outside. Oh but boy he almost carried that rear wheel a little too far there, didn't he? Yeah, but these guys are so intense at this point. Both these guys, former champions in, in one discipline or another, this Lights Championship is heated up at this point. Boy, look at Villapoto really throwing caution to the wind as he bounces through that section. Well, and this is what he's been able to do all season is this first moto. He just seems to come out firing early on. Is just His intensity is so high in his aggression. He hasn't been able to complete his second motos quite like that, but Ben Townley has also been able to get a little closer to that here also. But look at Villapoto. He is flying right now. Let's go back and take a look at our progressive drift hold shot replay. Well, the preferred spot here is right at the box on the inside. Pretty good start from everybody. You see the two pro circuit riders got there first. Townley has the inside coming through here. Watch as they come up, this little step up just nudges Villapoto out of the way for the whole shot. Back to the action. There's Villapoto and Townley and Josh Grant on the Honda, number 24, rides along in second. Or third, I should say. And that's the only rider outside of the two pro circuit riders to win a moto this year who's not a pro circuit rider. Oh, and Josh Grant almost loses it coming down the hill. 
traction on the rear tire goes away. I cannot believe that he saved that route. That was as far out of control as you can get. Woo! Let's go back and take another look at that, Jeff. Watch this, Ralph. He gets, hammers the throttle. The rear tire just slides out there. Brings it back, and if you notice, his right leg almost went over the bike. If that right leg had come all the way off the left side of the bike, he would have been done. Good save, Josh Graham. That'll wake you up. Is that one of the ones that falls under the category I'd rather be lucky than good? That is exactly one of those. Well, this guy's been very good. Ryan Villapoto. Driving through the berm. This is one of those sand sections you were talking about. Yeah, this is one of the signature parts of the track. That, that you actually got one lane going down, you make a U-turn and come back through. Well, the action getting underway here in Millville. We're coming right back to Minnesota for more after this. Is a passion for two wheels in your blood? Well, now you can get all the breaking news, in-depth analysis, and more with the Motorcycle Racing Report. Only at SpeedTV.com, keyword green, presented by Kawasaki. Welcome back to Millville, Minnesota. This is a Spring Creek Motocross Park. Watching the action from our Honda aerial camp as Ryan Villapoto and Ben Townley battle for the lead here in moto number one. The clock ticking down. S just over 16 minutes plus two laps left to go here in Moto One for the Motocross Lights. That's right, and the Monster Energy Pro Circuit Kawasaki riders once again, wheel to wheel. These guys are battling for the championship. I'll tell you what, looking at the track here today, you guys wouldn't know how much rain and how bad of thunder and lightning storms this area has had. And the fact that the uh, 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 tra uh, track owners here at Spring Creek have did an excellent job of getting this track ready to race. And I tell you, Ralph, I wish I was out there riding it myself. Yeah, you really get a little giddy when you talk about this track, I've noticed. Yeah, I just had some really good rides here, and uh, it just brings back a lot of good memories. But, you know, also, it's this time of year that Millville comes around. It's right when you're kind of getting towards the championship there. Points starting to add up. That's when you start to see a little light at the end of the tunnel. And uh, for me, there was usually, you know, uh, pretty good memories here. Villapoto trying to make some good memories right now. He's been leading this one since the game dropped just about. And Townley has not really been able to mount a challenge. He's hung with him. The lap time's pretty close. Townley actually has the better lap time. He's been a full second quicker than Villapoto with his best lap time. Did that back on lap number three, but he hasn't been able to catch him to really try to mount a pass. They're about 1.2 seconds apart right now. Getting into lap traffic. And Ralph, like we talked about, and uh, Villapoto has all season been the guy in Moto One, but in Moto Two, Ben Townley's kind of had the edge. That's why he's had more overall victories, even though uh, Ryan Villapoto has nine moto wins. These riders are starting to get into traffic here. And uh, like I said, the track's in great shape, but some of the outer edges of the track are gonna be you know, pretty soft, pretty wet. There's a pretty good uh, main racing line right now. But as these riders get in, you see Ryan Villapoto jumped off to the right side a little bit, made a mistake. You see Big Townley closing right up on him. He missed his line. Well, that's been the difference in this championship. Make a mistake, lose the positions, lose the points, lose the points lead. And look at this, Townley now applying the pressure as the crowd gets into it. And at this point, it's much easier to be the rider in second right now. You're the aggressor. You're sitting there watching everything happen. You just seen him make a mistake. Time to strike right now. Townley looking inside. He's got it. Villapoda just pulled up, Ralph. He pulled up going up the hill. I don't know what the deal was there. He pulled out of the way and let Ben Townley by. But he kind of mounts a bit of a challenge back, Jeff, but not anything overly aggressive. I'm not sure why he would do that. It doesn't seem like that there's any problem with the bike or anything. 
what I can think of. Well, let's go back and take a look at the pass. Watch as they come up the hill here. We're focused on Townley. And Villapoto just pulls high, way up here, out of the way. Just gets back in like it was a like it was a practice session. Only thing I can think of at this point, Rob, is that he wants to watch his line. That he felt Ben Townley was really breathing down his neck and he could not get away riding the lines that he was riding. So he wants to see if Ben Townley has any special part of the track that he's working on. Well, he's got to feel pretty confident to be able to do that because you sure don't want to give up the position. It's definitely an interesting move, and uh, maybe we won't know until after the race if uh, you know, we get a comment uh, uh, from Ryan on that. But right now, I'm telling you, Ben Townley's got to be feeling real good. Well, he's starting to pull away. Yeah, I think he's feeling pretty great right now. One guy who's not feeling too good, however, is Trey Kennard. Remember, he had gotten all the way up into the top 10, was pushing into the top five, and has fallen down somewhere on the course. We're having a hard time finding him. Nico Izzy, by the way, sits in eighth. We'll be right back. The Monster Energy Pro Circuit team working on a podium suite here at Spring Creek Motocross Park in Millville, Minnesota. This is moto number one for the motocross lights. Ben Townley out front. Brian Villapoto runs in second, and Brett Metcalf in third. Take you back now and show you what you missed while we were away from our coverage. Josh Cran on the number 24. Watch this. Comes over this little double, and it looked like his bike got knocked out of gear. He missed the shift, some sort of drive, but the front wheel dropped. He'll get back, remounted. He's running sixth right now. Tommy Hahn worked past him on the 52, but then coming up inside was the 123 at Metcalf, and the Kawasaki Mountain Rider took the spot away. Metcalf was stalking Tommy Hahn for a number of laps. Used the uh, 597 uh, lap driver, got in the way there. Metcalf used it to his advantage. Now in the final lap for Ben Townley here at moto number one. Oh, that's Metcalf, actually. Metcalf put in a solid ride here in the first moto. He's worked his way forward the whole time. The leaders are gone, though. His teammates are so far out in front. Well, the gap between Townley and Bill Poto has just expanded as well. It's up to five and a half seconds. There's Townley. And we're not sure why he was so easily able to get around Villapoto. It looked like to us that maybe Villapoto waved him by, which would be shocking, really, considering how tight the points chase is. If he did that just to watch his lines or something along that, particular line and he just completely backfired for Ryan Villapoto. Yeah, as the analyst here, I'm not I'm, I'm not sure that I want to make a call on that, but you know we'll take a look at it here and, and see what Villapoto did again. I, see as they're coming up the hill, you just see Villapoto stand up, pulls out of the racing line, doesn't look like he hit his rear brake or adjusted any of the clutch levers or anything on the bike, and then he hammers the throttle again back down the hill. I, I can't explain. He's going to have to explain that uh, one to us because yeah. I, I'm not even going to make a guess. And it sure doesn't look like he overshot the corner or anything of the kind. Mm. And in the points championship uh, right now, that's 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 three points. Three points difference between first and second. And as tight as this championship is, it might be less than three points separating the two when we're all done. It, it's, uh, it definitely looks like it's going to come down to it. So right now, we're going to have to hear from Ryan Villapoto after this race. As you see Ben Townley waving to the crowd. We're going to have to hear from Ryan and see just exactly what happened. But Ben Townley, this has been uh, just the type of moto that he wanted. An incredible momentum building for Ben Townley as he's been working his way through the last few rounds. And now here he comes in the photo number one at Millville, and he's going to walk away with that win as well. For Townley, it will be his seventh moto win. And the checkered flag waves for Ben Townley. Villapoto will finish second. And we'll come back to Millville to talk to him right after this. Speed's coverage of the AMA Motocross Lights Championship from Millville is brought to you by Honda. 
the company that defines performance in motorcycles, ATVs, personal watercraft, and scooters. Welcome back to Millville, Minnesota. Ralph Shaheen alongside Jeff Emig with you. Crowd enjoying the day here on a hot summer day in August in Minnesota. But good racing action here in Millville in the motocross lights class. Let's show you our results from moto number one. As we take a look at our Toyota trucks results page, top two guys on top as always. <clears throat> Brett Metcalf having a great ride. Tommy Hahn hanging in there for per fourth, putting in a great ride also. Nico Izzy, he's the standout here, the first moto. Top Trey Kennard is the uh, top uh, rookie here today. Let's head down to the victory podium. Here's Aaron. Ben Townley starting this race off on the right foot, getting the whole shot. Ben, you had said earlier what a difficult track this is and how rough it's actually getting, but it's really come around. Would you say, being a former world champ, that this is a track for Ben Townley? <laughs> this is a great racetrack, you know. It's uh, my first time here and uh, really enjoying it. The, uh, they've done a great job, but you guys don't know how much rain we've had over the last two days, and they've been able to turn it around, man. So. Got to say a big thanks to the whole uh, Monster Energy Pro Circuit Kawasaki team, everyone on our team, Van, Scott, Parts and Luna with Thor. You know, it was uh, it's a great effort by everyone. And uh, one, two, three out here, that's pretty cool. Ben Townley extending that lead by three points. Say hi to mum and dad. Mum and dad all the way back home again, out here supporting them over the last couple of weeks. Yeah, and that's been a big boost for him too, having the folks show up. Well, Ben Townley's an AMA member. Are you? If you'd like to join, call 1-800-AMA-JOIN or see amadirectlink.com. We'll be heading back here to Millville, Minnesota. Getting set, Moto2, yet to go with the motocross lights. Did you miss any AMA racing action? Want to relive the excitement? Watch all the 2007 AMA Supercross and Superbike events on speed, on demand, online. And it's all free courtesy of Yamaha. So log on now to speedtv.com, keyword Yamaha, and get up to speed. Well, there's the famed Whoop Monster. The Whoop Monster, he has been around for a large number, of, a lot of years here. And they allow him access into that one section between the two sets of sand whoops. He is a, a Millville um, staple. Staple. You there like you that? Go. Okay, there's a good one. Hi, everybody. Ralph Shaheen alongside Jeff Emig. The Whoop Monster is with us. And also Aaron Bates covering all the action for us down in the starting gate area and on top of the victory podium. Let's show you our Suzuki starting grid. Not listed here, the Whoop Monster, but these guys are. And a couple of names to take note of, Jeff, and here, of course, Nico Izzy, Trey Kennard. We're going to have to see if Kennard can rebound from uh, some slight injuries in moto number one. Yeah, Kennard uh, fell and bruised his right arm in that second moto, but I think he's going to ride here. He's going to take the siding lap. And we didn't really hear much from Jason Lawrence in moto number one either, did we? And let's head down to Aaron Bates with a Progressive Direct Free Race Report. The rookie, Trey Kennard, the number 140, right behind me aboard the factory Sobe No Fear Samsung Honda. What a break it was for him coming into making his debut here for the pro ranks, but crashing right before the whoop section. What he ended up doing, he ended up bruising a very deep bruise to his right shoulder and his upper arm. Right around the humorous area, but talking with JC Waterhouse, the team manager for Sobe No Fear Samsung Honda, he said this is one of those situations. It is definitely not humorous for them right now, but he is a Horizon Award winner. He is expected to rebound here. He's tough, he's rough, and he's ready to battle here with the pros. And boy, he was really going well before he went down. Yeah, welcome, uh, welcome to the big boys, you know, <laughs> the big show here, but gonna have to gr grin and bear it. And, uh, Put on a good ride, just along with the 101 here. Ben Townley was unreal the first moto, so strong and so steady. I think what was really unreal was Ryan Villapoto admitting to the fact that he allowed Townley to go by to check out his line. I mean, when you're in this tight of a championship chase, that could really cost you. Yeah, it was definitely an interesting move. And, uh, you know, uh, all I have to say is that, you know, he's got his own program, his own theory on what he wants to do here. And uh, never know, I've never seen that before, so. Well, now Ryan pretty much has to come back and win moto number two. Well, yeah, and, and if he wins moto two and then Townley was second, they would tie in points here for the day. Uh, but, man, at this point, I'd want every point that I could possibly get. It's uh, yeah, definitely uh, an orthodox move there. Well, there's nothing said you have to win a championship by the book. Ryan Villapoto trying to write his own on the way. And you know what? As quick as he is, 
<laughs> Who are we to say yeah, anything? Yeah, exactly. This kid's pretty talented. Now the start here, Ralph, the best place is to be just around the box there in the middle of the start and uh, get a lot of speed heading into a right-hander. It's nice and smooth, real deep sand. You really, once, the, once you get over the gate, you really got to get back on the bike and get traction on that rear tire. Letitia moves the 32nd board away, and here we go. Moto 2 underway. And Kennard, boy, is he ready for the big time. He's beaten and battered for photo number one, but he's still pumped full of adrenaline, and he gets the whole shot. What an incredible start for Trey Kennard in his second moto of his pro racing career. This is after a crash and an injured arm in the first moto. And here's Ben Talbley inside. Saying, hope you enjoyed your time. That's my turn. I got a championship to win. Brett Metcalf is with him, and where's Ben? Horrible start for Ryan. Metcalf finished third in moto number one. He's currently second. Looks like that Lemoyne going through the next moto number one. I'm going to say he's back at about six or seven. He's definitely starting with a disadvantage this moto compared to the first moto. Bentale out in front now. Ryan Villapoto is going to have to get through some pretty tough customers on his way to the front if he's going to catch his teammate, Ben Townley. Well, here's hoping he learns something from watching Townley because he's going to need every bit of help he can get to reel him in now here in moto number two. And Metcalf just having an outstanding day today, running in second. Here he comes down the hill. There's Villapoto. Working on Kyle Cunningham. Makes short work for Kyle. He's a, he's a rookie this year. Cunningham on the 622. Cunningham's a Texas rider. Was talking with him and his mother yesterday. They're very excited for this national at Freestone MX. Coming to Texas, having a motocross national back in Texas for the first time in a long time. You see Martin Davalos on the 577 just in front of the Lakota, and then Kennard is right after that. Well, we'll see how much gas Kennard has in the tank, and I don't mean on his bike, I mean with his body. Suffering through that injury, might be a little bit of trauma on his arm, but right now he's right in the thick of it, and I tell you, when I was his age, this is exactly where I wanted to be. This is what I had been dreaming about. My whole life up to this point with mixing it up with the lights motocross racers. My Villa Poto just got a little too far out to the edge. That could have been disastrous. Davalos chasing down Trey Kennard, and here comes Villa Poto on the outside. He's gotten around Martin. Powers around the firm, and again, he gets outside and costs it. Yeah, Villa Poto just went a little bit too wide. He's still got a drive on Davalos. Tell you what, Trey Kennard is riding like Ryan Villapoto right on that edge, but just inside the line of control. I tell you, this is when Ryan Villapoto is at his best. I love watching this kid ride like this because he just lets it all hang out. And he has such an aggressive riding style, and he is not afraid to charge into a turn to get it on the back tire. He goes for it. There's no doubt that Ryan Villapoto will give you everything he's got, and he's got to do that if he wants to win moto number two. Stay with us. Ryan Villapoto has done something we didn't think was possible when the gate dropped here at the AMA Toyota Motocross Lights event in Millville, Minnesota. He has caught the race leader, Ben Townley. There he is in second on the number one. Let's show you how he slides through the field. We'll take a look here. He passes Davalos and Kennard on the outside. Started pretty far back in this moto. Here, here's when he gets past Kennard, just charging his way to the front. Now all that he had left with his, was his teammate, 
Brett Metcalf and just rockets through the second set of sand whoops, moves up into second place. That brings you to where we're at right now. And then he had to reel in Townley. And the pace at what he is racing has just been incredible. And here he goes on the outside. He's got the drive on the outside, Ralph. Let's see if he can make it stick. The Remember, he it. let him go by him in moto number one to watch his lines. Maybe he did learn something. He's right around alongside. Not giving either one of any inch, but not taking each other out. What a spectacular piece of racing between two teammates with great respect for each other. I cannot believe in that sequence there that Ben Townley did not let off the throttle. He wants this championship bad. First moto, Villapoto let him by. Ben Townley caught Villapoto. Was all over and Villapoto pulled out of the way. Strange move, never seen that before. Now the second moto, Villapoto is definitely dialed in. And look, Ben Townley just made a mistake. He is, Villapoto has shocked his teammate Ben Townley at this point. Well, he shocked everybody here in Millville at the Spring Creek Motocross Park. Nobody expected this when the gate dropped. As we watched him roll through the pack, we just seen how focused and determined Ryan Villapoto is. Now let's see if Ben Townley can raise that energy level and raise that intensity here and put a charge on into this moto. We're 13 minutes, 14 minutes in right now, so there's still a lot of racing here at Millville. And remember, Ben Talley has been Mr. Second Moto, okay? He has been the strongest at the end of these races. But right now it looks like Ryan Villapoto is really putting it down. Well, I'm sure it's going to take Townley a, a minute or two to soak everything in and absorb what happened because, Aaron, I don't think anybody, especially Townley, expected to see Villapoto reel him in. Well, guys, at this point, especially conditioning is going to come into play. We're going to see it, witness it firsthand. But as far as Ben Townley goes, he's been uh, dealing with triple digits right now in Florida, training in the heat and the humidity. Unlike anything else, he's got to be just torturous out there. But Ryan Villapoto, he's been sticking to the same program he has been in California. But he as well is looking for a piece of property in Texas to try to up that level. The same thing with like Lake Whitney at Amateurs. He did really well with the heat and the humidity there hoping that the Texas environment will definitely help as far as conditioning goes. Well, all, all I can say is that if Ben Townley and his trainer, Eldon, Eldon Baker, were training too hard, which I don't think they were this week, but it could really take a lot out of you training in that sort of humidity. But I tell you right now, I, Ryan Villapoto is really charging hard. You see him almost making a little mistake there. Ben Townley's going to have to get on the gas here the second moto. Well, let's go back and see how this one began as we go back and take a look at our progressive deck whole shot replay from our Honda Sky Kid. Trey Kennard came from this area right here. You can see it was his all the way. Bottled up in the middle there was Ryan Villapoto. And now he's the one out front showing the way around here in Millville. Boy, the fans up in Minnesota are liking this. They're really, really responding to this charge and this effort that Ryan Villapolo is putting in. And this, could this, Jeff, be one of those rides that Villapolo holds on and wins this here today? Could this be the kind of ride that at the end of the championship, you look back and you go, that might have been a turning point? Yeah, but like we've seen that first moto, it was so unorthodox for him to pull out of the way and let his teammate by. But, man, I'm telling you, this is a guy that has confidence in his program and knows where he's at. Unreal right here, the second moto. I think Ben Townley, though, is going to have something to say about it here. Well, he's already almost two full seconds in front of Ryan Villapoto and Ben Townley right now. Just about two full seconds between the two. So Ryan Villapoto lapping here in Millville, hoping to wrap up the win while the fans cool off in the creek. A truly impressive performance here at the Spring Creek Motocross Park. The AMA Toyota Motocross Lights. Moto number two and Ryan Villapoto has put on quite a show. A horrible start. 
but he has worked his way to the lead and has led half the race. He has been awesome, Ralph. I've been watching him even during the break. His line choice and the things that he is doing on his motorcycle today are unbelievable. He's blowing my mind. The little things that he's doing, some of the turns he's making, how he's missing bumps, wheeling and pre-jumping stuff. Great, great technique and great ride here today for Bill Poto in the second moto. On his way to racking up another moto win. He's got one more lap to go here at Spring Creek. This is the last lap. And you see just behind here the 101 of Ben Townley who won our first moto convincingly. Villapoto dropped off the pace at the end of the first moto. It was very questionable how that happened. Like he pulled out of the way and let Ben by. I'm still not sure why you do it. And obviously it worked for Ryan Villapoto. So, you know, I don't know if I would suggest everybody try that. But for him, it was what he needed to do today, apparently. Yeah, and that's a sign that Ryan Villapoto is very confident in himself and his program and what he had left his second moto. And yeah, it's it's strange. And, you know, I tell you, Ryan Villapoto is really something special. And here in the second moto, he has just put it to his teammate, Ben Townley. And Townley had the early lead. And he's tried to hang on the back. But he's dropped off the pace about four seconds. You know, both these guys have just been, I mean, just unreal today. Actually, more like four and a half. And what's interesting is they have flip-flopped, as we mentioned before. Townley has usually been Mr. Moto number two, Brian, Mr. Moto number one, and instead they went in reverse order today. And what's interesting as far as the championship today is if they finish like they are right now, they'll both finish tied in points today with Villapoto getting the overall. Townley will still have the edge by two points in the championship. And Villapoto will get that overall because of the better finish in Moto number two. Yes. The other thing I was so impressed with today, Jeff, was how hard these two raced for the lead once Ryan caught Ben side by side, bar to bar. Very aggressive racing, but they gave each other total respect without giving each other any quarter. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. They have been racing each other hard. And I'll tell you, these are, these are some great championships here. And Brett Metcalf is going to finish third. He's going to get a pair of threes in his two motos today. Yeah, he has been great today. Just another part of that pro circuit trio that has just dominated today in the, in the lights division. And boy, is Mitch Payton got to be thrilled with this afternoon here in Spring Creek. For Ryan Villapoto, it will be his 10th moto win, his third overall victory in the 2007 season, and he has done it here at Millville. It was a bit of an unusual strategy, but it worked, and the championship chase gets even tighter. Brett Metcalf, as we've seen, Townley has crossed the line. Here comes Metcalf. He will cross in third. And the Monster Energy Pro Circuit team will sweep the podium here in Millville this weekend. Now let's go and show you how Ryan Villapoto accomplished this overall victory today. In Moto 1, he had the lead, and then Townley, once he caught him, Villapoto just kind of moved over. Yeah, Townley put the pressure on and he, he just pulled up and thought maybe there was a problem. There was, there was nothing of the sort. But boy, was Moto too thrilling. Look at how hard they raced each other. And Townley didn't let off and Villapoto didn't let off and they were just side by side. And eventually Villapoto edged them out. And they end up going one, two, and three. Villapoto, Townley, and Metcalf in moto number two. We'll be right back to talk to Ryan about his big win here today. Speech coverage of the AMA Motocross Lines Championship from Millville is brought to you by Suzuki, maker of performance-driven motorcycles, scooters, and all-terrain vehicles. And by the all-new 2007 Tundra, the truck that's changing it all. Well, there's a good look at the hillside here in Millville. That's down to the Victory Podium area here. We're at Spring Creek Motocross Park in Millville, Minnesota, about an hour and a half outside of Minneapolis. Here's a look at the top 10 overall results in our Toyota scoreboard. Ryan Villapoto gets to 2-1 as opposed to Ben Townley's 1-2, so it goes to Ryan. And in the points, are pretty much going to be exactly the same as the way they were coming into today because they split the afternoon. 
But now Ryan Villapoto talks to Aaron as our overall winner. It's a Monster Energy Pro Circuit Kawasaki sweep down here. There is nothing but green, but the guy that probably dug the deepest, Ryan Villapoto. Ryan, obviously you got pretty angry after that first moto. What did you do to dig down in order to pull out what you just pulled out? Yeah, you know, just uh, didn't have it there the first moto and uh, let Ben by to see what he was doing. And uh, I don't know if it helped me that first moto, but I think it might have might have gave me a little bit of edge for, uh, you know, for the second moto. And uh, made a little bit of change to the bike, and uh, it, it was it was awesome. You know, I just can't thank it enough to the team, uh, Monster Pro Circuit, Kawasaki, and uh, Jeff Fox and Parts Unlimited. Everything you did, you did it right. And this guy right here, Ben Townley. Ben, a little bit of look of surprise, a little frustration and disappointment as you came up onto the podium. What went wrong? I don't know, you know, uh, Ryan rode a great race, you know, can't take anything away from him. He uh, he came up there and we battled for a bit and he pulled away, so, uh, you know, it's so close. We're, uh, we're going fast out there, you know, and uh, I don't want to go down, but I want to keep getting those points, so I'm uh, looking for a little bit more. But the whole, so cool to have Brad up here, you know, uh, he's out, been out with an injury, and to have him back and be on the podium, man, Mitch and Bones and Aaron and Jack and uh, my mechanic Craig and all the guys, you know, John and, and uh the Java uh, do a good job so uh, yeah no it's cool and Brett being your only your third race back since your injury this has got to be a huge boost for your confidence but what was it exactly that you did on your time off last weekend in order to come back and battle the way you did yeah the first two I came back and I just I rode solid motors but my speed was down and uh, so the last two weeks I, I didn't do a whole lot of motors just worked on speed 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 and improving myself and uh I think it paid off out here, I could tell the difference. Now when you're racing against your two top title contenders, also your teammates as well, what is it that you learn from these guys that you bring into today, today's race? Well, they're the two best in the world, I believe, man, right now, and uh, you can learn every, everything off of them if you want to. You just got to look at them, and uh, it's good to be up there with Ben and Ryan at the, at the start there. I think uh, I blew myself up, I didn't breathe, I was, I was like, Duh. so uh, next, next uh, two weekends away, we'll improve on that and uh, hopefully claw at them. Great to see you back up here on the podium. Guys, this battle is getting feisty. It's coming up with only three rounds left. Yeah, it sure is, Aaron, and those three are going to be so hotly contested races, which you'll see, of course, all right here on speed. And look at the points, Jeff. It's almost like this round never happened. Yeah, exactly. It just stayed completely even as far as their points for today. Townley still has that little bit of an edge, but three more races, eight, uh, six motos. Should be fun. But Ben Townley's going to really rethink that fact that Ryan just let it by in moto number one. Yeah, it's uh, that move by Ryan Villapoto was uh, strange. But like I said, he's so confident in his racing program. And the thing that really comes to mind is picture two riders. There's a number one plate, and they're both holding on to it. And it's like a tug of war between these two riders, and neither one of them wants to let go. But eventually, in the end, it'll be in one man's hand. You'll see it all play out right here on Speed. We hope you've enjoyed our coverage here today. It has been a wild one from Millville. Well, they move on, and we move on with them. And neither one of these riders is showing an advantage over the other, Jeff. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, been a, it's been a tough deal, and we've seen some great action here today at uh, Millville. We've seen the rising stars, Nico Izzy and Trey Kennard coming into the big show. It's got a bright future. They certainly do, but we got a great championship fight on our hands. For Aaron Bates, Jeff Demick, I'm Ralph Shaheen. So long for Millville. Congratulations to your overall winner, Ryan Villapoto. It's been a lifetime.